We're just drifting down the river at uh, Harwood. Um, we've got a little while to wait before the bridge opens. It's going to open at uh, 1800, so we've got about 20 minutes to wait. So you can see there the new road bridge, but the uh, old bridge over the back has got an opening span, so you're going to have to lift that um, for us to get through. Once through the bridge, we push the tide all the way to McLean. We've noticed lots of beam trawlers working prawns in the river. This must be where they all live. Well, as the sun sets at McLean, now we've got wind against tide. A bit lumpy here against the pontoon, but we're tied up pretty snug. Our friend Al's tied up next to us, we've rafted up, so we should be alright here tonight, I think. Go up and explore town tomorrow. Very good. McLean has all the amenities a cruiser could want pontoon to tie to, showers, power and water, and it's all free. Well, 24 hours at uh, McLean, Lovely spot, the pontoon was great, we had um, power on the pontoon, water, and uh, if you go up to the um, if you go up to the bottle shop just across the road, you can get a key to the uh, ablutions there as well, so you can grab a shower, so it's a great spot, and you're right at the end of town, so uh, easy to shop, there's a, a supermarket uh, right near the, the uh, pontoon, and lots of coffee shops, restaurants, pubs, everything you want. Um, make things a bit more civilised. This is the lice. It's very pleasant uh, just cruising up the Clarence River. That evening we anchor off the tiny village of Brushgrove. It was a lovely calm night and there's plenty of fog about as the sun comes up. It's New Year's Eve and we head ashore to the Brush Grove pub. There's a pontoon for the dinghy.
Yes, and there's even fireworks at Brush Grove. <laughs> Unbelievable. We got up to Grafton, it's about 40 nautical miles up the river. Boy, is it hot up here. No sea breeze. So um, we decided to turn around. We're gonna head back down to Elmara, five at the jetty there. We might spend a day having a look around there and then we'll head back down the river. Just too hot, no breeze and um, it's pretty sticky. So I think we're a lot better down near the sea anyway heading back towards the ocean. As we get closer to the sea, we are very relieved when a sea breeze develops. Well, we just uh, pulled up at the Harwood Hilton and uh, we've organised the bridge to open at uh, 1600 again, so uh, we've got about an hour. We might go and have a quick beer at the end of our pub cruise uh, up and down the Clarence. So, well, not really. We'll get back to Iluka and probably go and have a beer there as well. But anyway, we've got about an hour to wait before the bridge opens. What do you have? Beer. We had a quiet night at the uh, Little River, River Sailing Club. Came through the bridge last night at about 17.30 by the time we got through. And uh, there was a bit of tide, so we didn't want to push the tide all the way down to the mouth of the river. So we had a leisurely morning this morning, bit of breakfast, took the dog ashore, put a little bit more water on from there. And uh, we just up anchored five minutes ago and we're doing the last little stretch of river back down to Iluka. We'll probably end up there for a few days. Uh, the weather doesn't look that great for uh, heading south until about Tuesday, so we'll wait for it. Very pleasant day today, a little bit of breeze, not too bad at all. back into the boat harbour at Iluka. The last stop on our pub cruise up the Clarence. And there's live music. Mm -hmm. 